everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today is gonna be a transitioning hair update because I think the last one I did was like four months ago. And I have a lot to say because the last transitioning update that I did was like a short one minute video. And there's a lot that's going on with my hair. Um, if you guys didn't know, I am transitioning with my curly hair. I explain it all in my one year transitioning curly hair update. And I just wanted to start out by telling you guys what I actually did to my hair. Like the whole story behind it. Oh, and time categories will be down below just in case you want to like skip throughout the video. Okay, so my hair started off with heat damage. I used to put heat on my hair all the time, every single day. I did that for a whole year um, until one day I, I decided to go curly because I was like watching YouTube videos at that time. So I just wanted to be curly. So I went about a year and six months uh, transitioning. And at that point I was mostly natural. I had a little bit of heat damage at the ends of my hair, but for the most part, I was natural. And then I found something on YouTube called a texturizer, and I did my first texturizer. I really, really liked my hair, and I was using the S Curl Texturizer. It's a really good texturizer, I'll still admit that to this day. The YouTube video I watched said that it was temporary, so I did it because it was temporary. It is temporary, so it's not permanent and why not? Okay, so I did it one day, and then I waited overnight, and it got curlier, and I didn't want it to like be temporary, I wanted it to be permanent. So I bought the texturizer again the next day, and did it on my hair again. So that's two texturizers within like 24 hours, which is really bad. But the thing is, the second texturizer I bought was not the S Curl texturizer. It was a different texturizer on top of that. So it was the Just For Me one. The S Curl texturizer gave me really loose ringlets, whereas the Just as for me texturizer gave me like a zigzag type of curl pattern. I ended up texturizing for the next six months after that like any new growth I would see I would just texturize it and one day I wore my hair straight to school and everybody said I look so much better with straight hair so I decided that I want permanently straight hair so I bought myself a relaxer. Now keep in mind I have completely texturized hair. Some parts of my hair have been processed twice at this point. This relaxer was the olive oil one. I relax my whole hair and I get in the shower wash it out and it's still a little bit curly for some reason I go back in with the relaxer after I washed it out and just the middle part just the middle part of my hair because it was like the curliest I just went over the like with the relaxer I processed it again wash it out came out it was straight I wanted that at the time I wanted permanently straight hair but the thing is not even like two weeks later I went back curly that's when I started texturizing my hair again after that. I hope you guys are following along. I had blonde bottoms at that point in my life and I decided that I didn't want blonde in my hair anymore. What I did was I dyed my whole head black. I have texturized hair, relaxed hair that's been relaxed twice now and now I have black in my hair. You can kind of imagine like what my hair looked like. I started my sophomore year and I just did not want it black anymore so I dyed my hair a brown color. This is the time that I started training Transition. But now you guys know what my whole head has been through. Now I tend to stick to ponytails and buns for like my go-to hairstyle because it hides all the textures in my head. And there's literally so much hair that's grown in now that it's so difficult for me to wear my hair completely down anymore. And I took pictures because my hair is in a bun so I can't show you guys. I just cut it the other day and I expressed that in a couple videos back. I only cut like an inch off but it looks even shorter now because there's so much shrinkage. I did cut a piece of hair in the back of my head that is completely natural and I did take a picture for you guys in case you wanted to see and I'm really excited to just be completely natural because I haven't been completely natural since like sixth grade. I know what you guys are probably thinking, oh just do braid outs and twist outs. I have tried braid outs and twist outs. I've done braid outs from the blow dryer. I've done braid outs overnight, twist outs overnight, twist outs from the blow dryer. It just doesn't work. Since the middle of my hair is completely straight, it'll be like the braid out texture other than straight other than the braid out texture. Again. And it just doesn't work for me. Anyways, I've expressed that I'm super tired of just my hair in general and I just want to big chop it already. But again, I do not like short hair and um, I'm thinking that I might big chop in another year or so. As for products, I switched my combs from a tangle teaser to a wide tooth comb since it really blends the two textures. I'm still using my Eco Styler gel. This leave-in conditioner right here is absolutely incredible. Um, it really does help uh, blend the two textures together. Um, I don't even think I have two textures in my hair. I have like four. But <laughs> yeah, I recommend this product to like anyone. My sisters use it and they really like it. It also smells 
pretty freaking amazing. As for deep conditioner, I don't do it every week. I know I should, but I don't. But when I do, I use a protein mask. And yes, my hair is protein sensitive. I use the hair mayonnaise and I have expressed my love for this product in I think my six month transitioning video. But yeah, if you just put this stuff in your hair and then you wash it out, it leaves your hair feeling soft and not wiry, like really heavy protein masks leave my hair. Um, I still do use my Jamaican black castor oil. It's not my favorite oil. I didn't like it at first and then I liked it and then I didn't like it and I still don't like it right now. I'm just trying to use it all just to go back to coconut oil. And other than that, I'm just chilling, just waiting on my hair to grow. Patience is key even though I don't have any. And yeah, I want you guys to comment down below how you're doing with your curly hair journey. If you have any questions or if you have any advice that you want to give me, you can reach me on my social media. It will be at the end of this video. It will also be down below. Um, I'll have all of my transitioning updates down below in the description box as well. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace. Watching haters wonder why Gambino got the game. Yeah. Half-tied thicky, all she want to do is bang. Yeah. Got a head dumb French braids.